Maraming salamat po sa buhay at lakas na aming tagnay. Sa liwanag ng kaisipan at sa pagkakataon maipagpatuloy ang pag-aaral ng mga kabataan. Gabay mo po ang bawat isa sa amin. Ano man ang bahagi na aming gagampanan na huwag maging maayos at matagumpay ang pagtuturo at pag-aaral na aming gagawin sa araw na ito. Patawarin mo po kami sa aming mga pagkulang at pagkakasala. At sa aming paggawa, ikaw po ang aming makasala. Amen. Good day, learners! I am Ma'am Denise De La Cruz, your TLE teacher. Welcome to Grade 7 Illustration Class. Are you ready for another fun and exciting learning? If you are, kindly you prepare your notebook, your pen, and learning module. Before we start, I would like you to remember two things. Kindly click the heart reaction if you understand the lesson and comment your question if you don't. Let's begin! Our learning competencies and outcome for this day are Number 1. List hand tools and equipment based on job requirement And number 2. Classify hand tools and equipment according to function and task For today's objective, my dear students Let us first identify the different hand tools and equipment used in illustration Second, use the different hand tools and equipment in creating illustrations. Last, value the uses and importance of hand tools and equipment used in illustration. Before we proceed to our lesson, let me give you some ideas about our topic for today. I have here a series of pictures and all you need to do is to identify them. You will be given 5 seconds to, count, to comment your answers. Can you guess the name of this tool? Great job! This is what we call the pencil. How about this one? Very good! This is what we called an eraser. Next, what do you call this device? Excellent! This is a computer mouse. Now, what comes to your mind when you hear the word illustration? Did the words drafting, drawing, sketching, and diagram cross your mind? Well, that is a great idea because the word illustration is a decoration, interpretation, or visual explanation of a text, concept, or process designed for integration in published media. Examples of illustration are posters, flyers, magazines, books, teaching materials, animations, video games, and films. An illustration is typically created by an illustrator. Let us talk about the hand tools and equipment used in illustration. Hand tools and equipment in illustration can be categorized into two, the traditional and digital. For the traditional, we have the drafting or drawing table. A drafting table is a large flat board often fixed to a metal frame so that it looks like a desk on which you place your paper when you are drawing or designing something. This is what we call the drafting or drawing table. Next tool 
is we have the pencil. Pencil is a writing instrument or art medium usually used for sketching and drawing. We have types of pencil. The first type is what we call the B or blackness. These pencils contain darker lines compared to H and F. However, they are easily erasable without any effort being put in. You can use this for note-taking purposes, doodling, and sketching as well. Next type of pencil is the HB or hard black. This is significantly hard pencil making it reasonably hard pencil even for drawing purposes. Next type of pencil is the letter F or fine point. This pencil compared to the others is slightly harder. While it is certainly easier than a few to keep sharp, it is way too dark for general and everyday drawing. The fourth type of pencil is the letter H or hardness. This is to say that the higher the value of H a pencil has, the harder its lead will be. And the harder the lead is, the lightest the pencil will be. Soft pencils create darker marks, while hard pencils create lighter marks. Next tool is we have the eraser. Erasers are used to remove unwanted lines. When your eraser gets all dirty, just rub it into a table or a harsh material to clean it. Again, this is an eraser. Different types of eraser were used in illustration. We have the kneaded, blending, and vinyl eraser or plastic eraser. Next tool is we have the markers. Markers are tools that is simple to use, require little preparation time, and quickly dry. Again, markers. Next is the gel liners. Gel liners are used to highlight portions in an artwork. Next tool is the coloring materials. These are used for their color. Another tool in illustration is the paper. Paper is used for writing, drawing, or printing on, or as a wrapping material. Again, we have the paper. And last is the pencil sharpener. A pencil sharpener is used for sharpening a pencil's writing point by having away its worn surface. Again, we have the sharpener. Paper, pencil, and eraser are commonly hand tools used in illustration. For the digital and modern, we have the computer mouse. Computer mouse is a handheld pointing device that detects two-dimensional motion relative to a surface. This is what we call the computer mouse. Next tool is the graphic tablet or also known as a digital drawing tablet. It is a computer input device that enables a user to hand draw images, animations, and graphics with a special pen like stylus. Uh, learners, this is what we call the graphic tablet. We also have illustration softwares. These are desktop publishing software's application produced by Adobe System and is used by our illustrators. The first software is the Adobe Design. It is used to create works such as posters, brochures, magazines, newspapers, and book. Again, we have the Adobe InDesign. Second software is the Adobe Photoshop. Adobe Photoshop is used for editing photos. Last is the Adobe Illustrator. Adobe Illustrator is, is used to create posters, symbols, logos, patterns, and icons. Again,
again, we have the Adobe Illustrator. To check your understanding of our lesson, let us answer this word hunt. Find the five traditional illustration tools and equipment. It can be found vertically, horizontally, diagonally, and upside down. Key in your answers in the comment box. I will give you 30 seconds to find the words. Let's start. One is used to erase unnecessary lines. One is used for printing. One is used for sketching. The other one can be found diagonally. And then the other one can be found horizontally. Were you able to find the words drafting table, paper, eraser, pencil, and marker? Great job, learners! Now, let us have another activity. Choose the letter of the correct answer and comment your answer on the comment box. Number one. It is a writing or drawing instrument consisting of a stick of graphite or a similar substance enclosed in a long, thin piece of wood. Is it A, pencil, B, marker, C, gel liner, or D, ball pen? The correct answer is Letter A. Very good, learners. Number two. It is used to remove unwanted lines. Is it A, gel liner, B, pencil, C, marker, or D, eraser? The correct answer is letter D. Great job, learners. Number three. A tool used to sharpen a pencil. Is it A, sharpening tools, B, scissors, C, sharpener, or D, knife? The correct answer is letter C. Very good! Number four, it is an essential tool that is usually mounted to a floor pedestal in which the board turns to a different position and also its height can be adjustable. Is it A, drawing chair, B, drawing cabinet, C, drawing board, or D, drawing table? The correct answer is letter D. Great job again, learners! Number five. It is a handheld pointing device that detects two-dimensional motion. Is it A. Mouse pad, B. Stylus, C. Computer tablet, or D. Computer mouse? The correct answer is letter D. Very good again, learners! Illustrations say things that words would struggle to express. Any piece of writing can be enhanced by drawings and images, whether you want to tell a story or teach a lesson. Can I have a hard reaction if you understand our lesson for today? Congratulations, learners! Your time and effort in participating in this lesson prove that you are ready in answering the activities in your learning pocket. For your assignment, on a clean sheet of paper, make an instructional poster. Your poster must contain the steps of proper hand washing. Use the traditional hand tools in completing this activity. Please refer to your module for the rubrics. Thank 
thank you very much for making yourself connected in today's lesson. Let me share you with you a quote. Education is the ability to listen to almost anything without losing your temper or your self-confidence by Robert Frost. Keep safe everyone and see you again in our next Valenzuela FB Live.